Okay, so at the end of this, actually, I will show you and hold up the um, the forms for you to take a photo of and ask yourself these questions and see what percentages um, you have on all, all of the questionnaires, okay? Um, but going back to my client that I'm currently working with at the moment, and again with his... Um, He's, he's, he's happy for me to obviously not discuss his name or details, but just to uh, disclose his, his beliefs, okay? So, worried what other people think, okay? It's major in this society because of social media. Everyone seems to be having a great time. Everyone, you know, is, uh, is photo show. Everyone's looking amazing. You know, we're living in this perfect world. There is a whole nother subject on perfectionist thinking being so destructive, okay? But again, that's another, that's another session. So let's look at how you're affected by other people, okay? What beliefs that you're holding about that. So let's see how this client of mine answered his questions. Number one, I feel really annoyed when my boss or colleague criticizes me. Yes. I feel anxious in large, large gatherings, especially with people I don't know. Yes. I frequently go along with other people's suggestions, even though I might believe that I'm right. Yes. I worry too much about what other people think of me. He agreed. I feel guilty when I have to take a day off, even when I'm sick. Agreed. I try to do everything perfectly. Agreed. I would take it personally if my colleagues went out without me. Yeah, I agreed to that. I worry that my colleagues are talking about me behind my back. Yep. If someone was to challenge my decisions, I would be annoyed. I would feel really nervous or embarrassed given a presentation, okay? And I've got a client coming in today with regard to presentation. So, again, that is this constant worry what other people think in the work environment. He scored 100%, okay? 100% on that. Um, so you can see how much, and once you start stop worrying what other people think because it's their beliefs, it doesn't mean that they're right, it's just what they believe. But a lot of the time, it's your imagination that's creating this. It's your self-talk. You're over-analyzing everything, creating a scenario, telling your subconscious mind all this terrible stuff is happening or, you know, that, that all of this. And none of this is real, but it's real in your mind. But it, in, in actual fact, it isn't real. Um, when we look at the health, taking things personally. So I would find it embarrassing joining a gym class, swimming in case I was being judged. I hate people laughing at me. I feel uncomfortable being around lots of people. I don't feel that I'm good at taking instructions without having rehearsed in advance, worried that people will laugh at me. I hate being put on the spot. If a friend lets me down at the last minute, I would bow myself. I hate being the centre of attention. I feel uncomfortable undressing in a changing room. I feel uncomfortable going to the toilet when others may be able to be able to hear me. It's really important for me to look good when I work out. So once again, this client scored 60% that he was constantly always thinking, what do other people think? That's it. And again, none of it's true. But again, it's patterns of thinking, it's learnt behaviours, it's habits. Habits, habits, habits that they have developed since they were little and they haven't grown out of it, to be honest. Okay, personal emotional relationships. Okay, last one. Worrying what other people think, taking things personally. Number one, I sometimes blush when I feel embarrassed. He agreed. I would feel uncomfortable asking for a refund in a shop. Disagreed. I would find it difficult to ask someone out on a date. Agreed. Had relationship problems, so he's just started to avoid relationships. Um, I would dislike going to the cinema, restaurant alone. Yep, agreed. If my partner doesn't call me when they're out for the evening, I get upset or annoyed. He disagreed, actually. Um, I frequently feel jealous or paranoid. Agreed. If someone came to my house and it was untidy, I would feel really embarrassed. Agreed. I often avoid, avoid parties or social events if I don't know anyone. Agreed. I worry a lot about fitting in. Agreed. I would fear, wear uncomfortable shoes or coat in the winter for a night out if they didn't match perfectly. Agreed. Okay? So, 80%. So, again, whilst we have all of these figures and we have all of these percentages, every single one is a belief that is limiting him. Okay? So this is about looking at some of those beliefs and start working on them. Okay? So we have a nice little piece of paper here. Okay? Unhelpful beliefs or worries that I have to work on. 
okay? Because this is a doing. that You actually need to do and put some stuff in this because if you write it down, all evidence will say that you will be more successful by writing down goals and actually looking at it in, in real time. So, you know, just, ha you know, whatever your beliefs are that are holding you back, whether that's personal relationships, whether that is health or whether that's employment, you know, we just need to start working on them. Okay, as you start working on them, you want to look at it as an achievement. Well done me, well done me. You know, I went out for a run, brilliant, well done me. You know, I, when, when I had a, a fallout with my partner, I decided not to say anything and I walked away. I learnt to manage my emotions. I didn't just speak on impulse because I didn't believe that I could not say anything. I learnt to wait. I've learnt to be patient. Well done me. Well done me. I've chosen to, to, to look at that from a different perspective. You know, so every single thing that you do, I want you to start building your own self-esteem and start building this sense that you are more powerful than you actually believe you are and that other people's opinion just if even if they are being critical of you do you know what when your self-esteem is running at 95 percent like mine is practically every day and somebody says something unkind to me i'm not really going to listen to them you know because what is their thinking? What beliefs do they hold? So I'd have to look at that first before I'm automatically taking on other people's opinions. So, you know, this is um, where I'm going to wrap it up today. You know, there's quite a lot there to, to work through um, with these different sessions. Obviously, I, I do this over a period of kind of a, a few sessions, hour-long sessions. Um, but I just want to kind of give everybody a little bit of an idea of the work that can be done, how easy it is to change once you're motivated to do so. I just want you to know that I will do and I do believe in you and I believe in this. I have got evidence and I've taken people from bipolar, off antidepressants, off drug addiction, not committed suicide and I have got loads and loads of evidence and to be honest I've probably got loads of clients who'd be more than happy to talk on film. Um, so. Um, you know, it was great chatting away with you. You can email if me if you want. It is retaptherapy at yahoo.com. Um, and anything, you know, just give me a call. I've got, obviously got all of this, the sheets and everything. Oh, let me just quickly give you these um, sheets here, if you can see them. That's the first one, okay? And if you can then print them off um, and answer yourself. Health, okay, that's that one. And then this one here which is work and employment, okay? So just have a look if there's any areas or clusters of beliefs that you hold that are holding you back and not living the life that you want. But listen, guys, come on, grab hold of your thinking, start interrupting your patterns, start living because we live in a wonderful world. Stop worrying about everyone else and start retraining yourself, okay? Lovely talking to you. Thanks very much.